Mommy's gonna film a video, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you pipe in if you have anything to add, okay? Hello. Uh, I'm, I told you that I was gonna talk about baby led weaning a little bit. Um, we uh, have our little girl, she just turned six months on January 2nd. And so we actually started feeding her solid food on Christmas Eve. Um, it was a little bit shy of six months, um, but we decided to go ahead and do it then because it was a special occasion. Um, and we're doing what's called baby led weaning, um, which is sort of a, I don't know, is it's new and trendy, but it made a lot of sense to us. And so that's kind of what we're loosely following. Um, and I just, today I wanted to kind of tell you what that is, and I'll probably do a couple more tangential videos about that um, in the coming weeks. But today I just kind of wanted to establish what it is, because a lot of people have a lot of questions when they see a baby eating uh, solid food straight with their hands and, you know, doing it all herself. But it's pretty cool. Um, basically the idea, weaning here in this uh, context does not refer to drinking less milk, it refers to adding food to her uh, her diet because previously she was exclusively breastfed um, and so breast milk is still her primary food source um, she still feeds on demand um, you know as much as she wants whenever she wants pretty much um, she's actually doing pretty well with with sleeping overnight for like eight hours the last couple nights um, but uh, she is eating solid food as sort of a supplement to that. So um, we're not doing it on like a strict schedule. She's doing dinner with us every night um, and lunch or breakfast when we're home. Uh, during the week, if she's here with one of our parents, um, I'll usually give her some lunch when I'm home for lunch. If she's at the babysitters, then she controls it. I send some snacks. Sometimes she gets around to feeding the snacks and sometimes it doesn't happen depending on her nap schedule and stuff. So it's not really strict then, um, but she's just basically been eating with us. That's one of the first things is that you set them in the high chair and you give them food and you eat at the same time. So it's a family ordeal and she's learning by example. Um, we eat, we chew, she watches us and learns. Um, and she is in control of it completely herself. So we just give her food in like, you know, solid food. The easiest things for her to pick up are things that are finger shapes, basically, you know, a few inches long and, you know, maybe less than an inch wide that she can grab and then have some stuck in, out of her hand that she can chew on. So, um, things that have worked well that way, um, dry penne, if there's sauce on it, it gets too slippery, um, like veggie sticks, carrots, and stuff like that. Yeah. She did really well last night with french fries. We went out to a restaurant and she got to eat all the french fries, but she also swallowed a nice big piece of chicken. So that was good. She's um, slowly learning how to actually chew and swallow things. Um, a lot of like meats and stuff, she'll, she'll put in her mouth and kind of suck on for a while, kind of chew on them, but not really get pieces off to be able to swallow them, and then she'll end up spitting it out. Um, so she's learning lots of things. She doesn't have any teeth yet, but um, you can still you know chew with your gums just fine. Uh, that's the idea, and um, so basically anything we eat she gets a little bit of. Sometimes it's deconstructed. We had soup um, and French bread, and I just took some French bread and dipped it in the soup and she chewed on that. Um, it was like a baked potato soup. She really went for that. It was really good. Um, and she's enjoying her broccoli and stuff. Yeah, she's over there. <laughs> she's playing by herself. Um, and enjoying listening to the sound of my voice. So that's her. Um, people are always asking about choking. Um, and basically, yeah, it's, you know, it's a risk with anything in her mouth. Um, but she's really good at gagging. I guess a baby's gag reflex is stronger than an adult's to prevent or, you know, decrease the likelihood of choking. So she will kind of make a face and go and like gag and, you know, spit something out. Um, a little bit of coughing and spluttering, a little bit, but mostly she has been doing great. She won't swallow anything that's too big for her. Though, it's really funny to see um, her poop has uh, basically just, hasn't changed that much in consistency, but there's just pieces of food in it now. <laughs> um, so that's fun. 
Um, it's just really kind of cool. There's really nothing she can't eat except like undercooked meat and eggs and um, honey. You can't give honey to babies because it can cause botulism. So that's the one thing that like I'm kind of worried about is that um, I don't really think about what honey is in my day to day life. Usually I hear the term, I hear the word honey and my mind just thinks, oh, naturally sweet. And that's it. Like, you know, um, I, I don't think about what honey is um, in the context of like, ah, it can harbor bacteria that are apparently that, that babies can't handle. Um, and so that's something that we have to be very careful of. And so I'm trying to be very aware of can't give her anything with honey. So like last night um, at the restaurant, my husband had some chicken strips that had a honey mustard and I was like, ah, don't give her any of that, for example. Um, but mostly I'm not too worried because we don't really have that much in the house. And um, yeah, it's, it's really convenient to just be able to kind of give her something of what we're having. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more confusing because you have to kind of figure out how to present it in a way that will be easy for her to eat. Um, we don't really eat a lot of steamed vegetables. We usually will pan fry them, which it's, um, you know, or roasted vegetables. They, they're a little bit firmer um, and harder for her to, to chew on and break apart. So the steamed vegetables worked well. Fortunately, our rice cooker has a steamer basket, and so we were able to cook up some veggies very easily, but then they went bad, so I need to make some more. Um, and yeah, I guess I just kind of wanted to establish like what it was a little bit. Um, and then maybe I'll be doing some like menu example videos or um, I definitely also want to talk about cloth diapering once we've got st solids started because um, that has changed as well. But I guess, uh, yeah, starting the conversation, if you have questions or like are interested or basically, I don't know, any video ideas, um, post those below because yeah, I would love to start a conversation and um, show you what we're doing and it's kind of cool. I'm excited. It's adorable to watch her eat. She's just, it's so cute and she gets really messy sometimes, but um, yeah, I'm very proud. And we're not doing like, we're not doing no spoon feeding like this morning. I made oatmeal and tried to feed it to her with a spoon. Tried to. She actually just didn't really want to go for that. She would rather eat it herself. Um, so it got in her hair. <laughs> but that's fine. All right, that's all. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.